If you're a teacher of children between the ages of three and five, you've probably experienced in the past how difficult it is trying to help children understand what a syllable is. It can be really, really tricky explaining the concept, but luckily at this age, it's not really about that. It's all about just experiencing what a syllable is. It's all about getting them up on their feet, doing funky games, dance, music, all that kind of stuff, and they usually really, really enjoy it. It's one of my favourite things to teach is syllables and rhythm games. My name is Martin Williams. I've been an early years teacher for more than the last 10 years, and in that time, I've tried probably at least 100 syllables and rhythm games. Out of all those, I've picked my absolute favourites that children really, really love, and those are the contents of this video. So stick around for the seven ultimate syllables games. Game number one is an absolute classic. It is dance the syllables. What you do for this, get the children up, stood on their feet, and you put on some kind of tune, and just have in your mind some kind of theme of words you're gonna use. Something like food would be a good one. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna pick a food, and you're gonna dance the word. It could be something like tomato, and you go a bit like to-ma-to. And you just pick different dance moves, you know, all this kind of stuff, funky moves, some funky music. I'll do a quick, uh, a quick demo. Let's go for the word tomato, be nice, nice simple one. Like t ma to t ma to Hey, you sort of keep going like that. Mix it up, do about three for each word and mix it up. It could be something like a pull, a pull, and all that kind of stuff. They really enjoy the syllable dance and it makes it active and gets them into it. And it's just a really simple way to start. For the next game, we're going to use one of the, the greatest early phonics resources, and that is rhythm sticks. This is what rhythm sticks look like, just a pair of claves or sticks. You can get sticks from outside, and there's so many different games you can do with them. One very simple game is get lots of pairs of rhythm sticks and give them out to a circle of children, and then pick some kind of theme. Something like vehicles would be a good one. Then say the name of a vehicle. Let's go for lorry to start with, and you hit the word lorry with the sticks and count the syllables. A bit like this. Lorry. One, two. And then you get the children try and copy you. Lorry. One, two. And do it a few times. Lorry. One, two. Uh, more repetition is good. It just sort of gets it into their mind what's going on. And practice, the more practice, the better. Try another, another word. Let's go for car. Nice, easy one. Car. One. Car. One. Combine harvester. Combine harvester. One, two, three, four, five. All that kind of stuff. Uh, you just you know, mix it up, different words, see how they're getting on. They're doing really well, then go for the longer words. They're not doing that great, just go for short words like lorry, car, tractor, all that kind of stuff. And just a very, very simple game to get them started with syllables. Another great game for syllables is have a mystery object bag. Just some kind of random bag or even a box and put into it a few toys with Pretty much all the same theme would be a good idea. It's good if you can target something that the children are interested in. They love superheroes, and you've got a few superhero figures, put them in the bag. They love vehicles, put some vehicles in. If it's dinosaurs, put dinosaurs in, whatever. In this bag, we have jungle animals. It's a bag of jungle animals. It's always uh, a classic interest that lots of children really enjoy. Basically, the idea of this one is we're gonna take out one at a time an object from the bag, see what it is, and then hit the word with the sticks. It's, that, it's kind of that simple. A good way to jazz it up is if you know a song that goes with the theme. You might have heard the Walking Through the Jungle song. It goes a bit like this. Uh, walking through the jungle, what do I see? Any little chant or ditty like that, that really helps just to get their focus and get them interested and in looking at you. So have a go at the chant and then pick one out of the bag. Let's see what we can get. Let's go for... We have a crocodile. So try and hit the word crocodile and then count the syllables. Crocodile. One, two, three. Crocodile. One, two, three. As simple as that. Do a few of the objects, get other children to come up, get them different animals out, and all have a go of hitting the words with the sticks. Of course you don't need to just use claves. Another great thing to use is instruments such as tambourines, drums, triangles, all that kind of stuff. Children love playing with these and they're really good for getting them listening and discriminating sounds as well as all the rhythm and listening to syllable skills that comes with it as well. So one simple way of using the instruments is you give the instruments out to a group of children, just whatever random instruments you've got, and then just try hitting some words together with the instruments. Once again, it's nice to pick a theme. Let's go for food, for example. I'm just gonna hit the names of some food on the instruments and the, and the children are gonna copy it. It's like a call and echo kind of game. Like you might go, 
tomato, and they're going to try and copy tomato, cucumber, and they try and copy cucumber, yogurt, yogurt, and all that kind of stuff. You can make it trickier if they're doing really, really well. Make the uh, the words longer or put a few foods together. It could be something like mango and cucumber, mango and cucumber, and all that kind of stuff. So see how they're getting on and just expand as you need to. Story is one of the best ways of teaching pretty much anything to young children. It gets them really listening, it gets their brains whirring, that's exactly what you want. And syllables can be taught through stories, and it's one of the best ways of doing it. Uh, this is my number one way of doing it. What you do, get the children to sit in a circle, give out pairs of these claves, or you could use instruments as well, that would work great. And then what you do, you just make up some kind of story. But in the story, there's lots of sound effects. And when you get to the sound effects bit, uh, the children hit the sound effects and they say the words and all the sound effects will have either one or two or three or four syllables in each word it could be something like a little mouse going squeak squeak and they go a bit like squeak 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 that kind of stuff which obviously that you know the word squeak just has one syllable in it it could be something like the wind going hoo Ooh, or something with your two syllables. It could be something, you know, an old witch is knocking on the door and going rat-a-tat-tat, rat-a-tat-tat, which has four syllables. And so it's just a nice way of just breaking up words for a bit of a purpose as well. Um, you just make up, I'm just gonna, I'll make up a little random story for you now. It's a bit of an example. It's about a bear, a massive bear that woke up in a cave one day and went stamping across the cave. Stamp, 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 stamp. He got to the door when he heard an old witch knocking on the door. Rat-a-tat-tat, rat-a-tat-tat. He swung open the door, there was the witch. Behind her, the terrible wind was blowing, it was going hoo-woo, hoo-woo, and all this kind of stuff. And just get the children all joining in. Uh, if they can think of their own ideas and get, you know, other characters into the story and all that kind of stuff, fantastic. That really brings it to life. The more random, the better for all these kind of stuff, things. And just, yeah, hitting the words, getting rhythm and syllables and just understanding how it all works. For many children, making things active and physical is definitely the best way to go. And so this game is great for any children you've got like that, that love action, physical stuff and all that kind of thing. It's using Play-Doh to hit syllables and it's a good splat the dough kind of game. What I've done here is I've picked a theme. I've gone for vehicles. And what I've done, I've got four different vehicles but represented by their syllables in do, basically. And so, I'll show you how it works. This is a really, really simple one. This is the word car. It's just one syllable. And so what you do, group of children, they all try and make the same car. And then you're just gonna splat the dough and say the word, car. And you could count as well. You could potentially go a bit like, car, one. A bit like that, if you wanted as well. Uh, let's go for scooter, this one. Scooter, one. Two, scooter, one, two. Uh, I'm sure you get the idea. This one is motorbike, so it's a bit like motorbike. One, two, three. And now, if they're doing really well at that, this is much trickier, but you know, if you get to this stage, great. This is combine harvester, this one. Combine harvester, one, two, three, four, five. Just have a go at that. You can, you can hit the, the words again and again, and it's really good, just really good fun. They love doing it. Uh, if you have children that you think will like this one, please do like, uh, press the like button below this video, which really helps me promote these videos to a wider audience. And yeah, hit that like button. Another game that most children really, really enjoy is the silly voices game. The idea of this one, you just pick some kind of silly voice to use, like a ghost, for example, and pick some words. It could be something like jungle animals, and hit the words while you're saying them like a ghost. So let's go for. Tiger, one, two, tiger, one, two, all that kind of stuff. Other good voices really enjoy are things like a tiger, an alien, a robot, a princess, a T-Rex, any of that kind of stuff. It just really brings it to life and makes it fun. I've actually always found teaching syllables to be relatively simple and really good fun. And I think if you just do some of the games I've done there, most children will get the hang of the, you know, the, the beginnings of understanding what syllables are, which is kind of what you're looking for in the early days. If you want to know a lot more about early phonics, then check out my, my course, which is called the Phase 1 Phonics Toolbag. 
it showcases at least 150 of the best activities you can use. Lots of games, resources, simple strategies, inspirational ideas, and it shows you exactly how to do the whole lot. And there's lots of other additional resources as well, as well as, as a community to help you and answer questions and all that kind of thing as well. As well as knowing how to teach syllables, another very important skill that comes around this same time is how to teach alliteration. And if you're interested in that, I've got my, my favourite alliteration games coming up in the next video.